Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy Mix Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my very important Let's Play of Rebuild 3, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome, welcome again to the Freak Show. Alright, that's enough of that. Anyhow, guys, a Rebuild 3 Gangs of Deadsville is the series. It is episode 19, and we are, well, we're doing okay. We're, we're not great, but we're not terrible. We have the crazy bling ninjas out here ready to murder us if we do anything to upset them we have a cowboy hat on our boy and yeah things are looking pretty good so i passed out for about four hours i'm awake now and ready to do murder or something something along those lines i'm not entirely certain it does appear that we do not have room for more people so with that being said I suppose uh, scavenging or scouting or something with an S is probably our best possible play. So that's what we're going to do. And yeah, we're going to hope for the very, 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 very best. Um, okay, we have a town hall, we have a school hall, blah, 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 halls, things. Um, yeah, I guess we can go to the 7-Eleven Quickie Mart or the 812 Mart, I'm sorry. Sorry, copyright infringement and all that. And I suppose we could build another apartment building. After that, we can go to the rags to riches place. Trashy revealing clothing for your darling angel teenage daughter. Alright, so we'll be going to uh, the rigags. Or the rags as it were. We're going to scavenge the place first. And then everything will be sweet, sweet, and nice. Theoretically. Probably not, though. Only mostly, sweet, sweet, nice. Only mostly. Alright. Additionally, we'll move out and do all that wonderful, fun stuff. I'm having acid reflux today, guys. It's super fun. I guess I ate way too late last night. But that's okay. Why? Because I said it was. Alright. Paramedic training. The most important part of first aid training is CPR. But nobody could agree on the right way to do it. Five pumps in the chest and two breaths, or was it seven pumps and five breaths? Then people worried about catching STDs from giving mouth to mouth, so they took the breathing part right out. Then victims started suing their rescuers for accidentally breaking ribs. And hell, what's the point of even trying? The one rule is act. Do something, anything, and you might save a life. Alright. Woohoo! Sweet, sweet, nice. Alright. Long distance murder! Woohoo! Yeah! Alright, so the long distance myrtle, myrtle. Long distance myrtle is real, folks. We're going to claim another building. We are going to continue with our, our research. I guess uh, watchtowers and bunker towers. That sounds sexy. Let's do that. And I think once we have bunker towers laid out and laid up and ready to... I, I don't... I don't know. I, I... I think we'll be okay. Yeah. Something like that. It's fine. East fine. Go on a murder hunt. Go amount of stuff, it's fine. I will go to the rags place and we'll gather up some rags. We'll gather some riches as well. And I suppose we can go recruit the new individual. And maybe we get another builder, because right now our builders are actually lacking. I don't need like ten of them, but like three, four might be okay. At least two would be good. Just saying. Just saying. Alright, ooh, bookworm a research boost. What? Alright, folks. Oh no. Alright. Yeah, you stay there, and yeah, I think we're good to go for the next turn. I don't think we'll be able to quite go as quick or as far or as fast as I would like to, but we might start trying to get the ninjas on our side, because they love us a little bit more than the other guys. Than the judgment group, or whatever they're called. It's fine. Alright, more of his story. I tried taking on the family profession when I was old enough, but by then our business was struggling. One too many cases of our adopters getting sick from our pooches. Animal control was on us like a retriever on a particularly slow-moving duck. We snuck across the border with the few animals we had left to try and start things over, but then all of this zombie business showed up and that squashed that plan pretty fast. Alright, well, aren't you just a team player? Uh, no, you're not that much of a team player. Sorry, buddy. Um, let's go with firearms training because it's awesome. And you like to shoot stuff. And you have a Gatling gun or a minigun, as it were. So, kind of already in the firearm realm of things. Just saying. Just saying. Alright. You. Go scavenge there. 
You go murder this, I guess. I don't know. Just randomly go out and do things, guys. Go and do stuff. All right, we're going to take over the other rags place, and I'm going to turn one of them into a farm. Possibly both of them into a farm. I, I could see that being a thing. What is this that we gathered? A motel. A hotel. A motel. Or what? No. Okay. That's fine. That is fine, folks. Let's see here. A zombie, zombie, a zombie. A bank. Supplies, zombie, and we found Van Dijk's riffle. Equip Van Duke's ripple. Ripple? Riffle. It's fine. Alright, let's see here. Uh, I must master my rifle as I must master my life. Ooh, plus four defense. Where is my gal pal, Christina? Where are you at? Where are you at, Christina? Oh, look at you. Oh, you have a sword. That's right. I made you a ninja. Never mind. Clements. No. Uh, what are you using, buddy? Nothing. Well, it's time that you use something, buddy. There you go. Bam. You just got amazing. Alright, cool. So Clements is now a boss. And I can totally get behind that. Um, okay, everyone's doing their jobs. Next up. I found a couple possible recruits and an orphan child at the pharmacy. They say they've been watching our progress for a few weeks, but are trying to decide between joining us or joining the Last Judgment. Apparently, they talked personally with O'Grady and had a tour of their compound. What can we counter with? Insult the Last Judgment. All right, let's do it. Oh, Grady doesn't care about his people, I told them. He's just a glorified dictator, mad with power. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? And their military is such a joke, they care more about looting and raiding than keeping everyone safe. I went on for a while until they told me to stop. They'd heard enough and would join us. I sure hope the Last Judgment never find out that we've been bad-mouthing them like this. <laughs> zambies, 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 Park, Zambies, Found, Zambies. Yeah! Alright. Well... Let's talk to Ryan Steele. Uh, what am I doing up at this hour? Just like to spend my time keeping an eye on things. Never been a good sleeper or needed to eat much, so I always have a lot of time on my hands. That's why I used to go for the night shift when I was a security guard. Figured if I'm going to be up anyway, I might as well do something with myself. Sure, it's mostly just twiddling my thumbs, but at least I wasn't twiddling my thumbs at home every night. You fool. What is a light sleeper? Ooh, but decrease to happiness. No, we want our people to be super happy. So they shall be super happy. All right. Well, things are looking rather, rather decent. I wouldn't say phenomenally amazing, but fairly decent. All right. Let's send ourselves on a, a mission. A mission of awesome. Let's talk to the, our boys here. All right. And while that's happening, we're going to convert you... Dun, dun, dun. In the bag. No, uh, into the farm. The new uh, season of the Dota 2 Reporter uh, came up on August 1st, ladies and gentlemen. So, yeah. Sweet, sweet, nice style. Sweet, sweet, nice style. So if you haven't seen it, go watch it. By the way, guys, I am definitely not recording this particular episode on Friday because I, of course, told you uh, early at the beginning of this that I passed out at a heap of drool. No, there was actually no drool. I know, surprising. You would think that there would be much, much drool, but no, there wasn't. Wow. We went from having literally no scavengers and converting one into a scavenger to having like a billion. Now we have three, it's fine. I'll take it. I will take it. Scavenge far and be amazing and do long division or something, it's fine. Alright, we're going to go here. Scavengers are better fishermen. Of course they are, because that totally makes sense. In a world. Alright, and I guess we moita that. Okay, that's fine. All right, we can now upgrade our buildings with watchtowers, and we can see death coming. We met with the Rifts. All right, let's talk with Malik. Malik is looking for a show of loyalty in public, in front of the rest of the Rifts. He wants a simple gesture of fidelity from our faction to theirs. Not a big deal. He insists. He wants to. He just wants to see me do it. Kiss his ring. Give it some tongue. <laughs> Oh, I'm totally going to give his ring some tongue. Oh, that sounds so bad in so many different ways. Whatever. Ew, no, the ring was just a metaphor. What I actually did was give a rousing speech about the partnership between us and the Rifts. I extolled the virtues of our benevolent friend Malik. I went overboard and some of it might have been made up, but Malik was moved by it, to be sure. Yeah. 
Love that respect. I've never seen so many chiseled bodies as when I walked through the Granville Rifts, heavily fortified compound the first time. It seemed like everyone from the biggest bruiser to the littlest old lady had a six-pack from all that martial arts training they do. Had a chance to meet with their lanky boss, Malik, while I was there. He told me that he'd been watching us. Keeping the Zed in check was their first concern, but they wouldn't tolerate us causing any trouble like those damn bikers from the Last Judgment on the other side of town. All right, we told him not to worry. He gave me a grim smile and told me to let him know if we ever need help bringing down a few Zed. They could arrange to send a few guys over. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, we found a Pomeranian. Oh, snippity snap. Is that an actual dog? It is a dog. It's Pluto. Everybody look, it's Pluto. So who who was the one that was the dog person? We know it was you. Who else? Somebody else had a the puppy dog thing. Come on, where's our dog? I feel as though our dog person may have disappeared. What's this? Oh, allergic to pets. Oh, that's probably a little bit inconvenient. Hmm. There was somebody else that liked dogs. We have you. It wasn't you. What is this? A hoarder, okay. Nope. Oh, come on. Who is it? Here it is. This is the one. Animal lover. Yeah, Jacob. Here you go, buddy. You got a Pomeranian. Adorable when it finally stops yapping. Yeah, what? Well played, sir. Well played. Alright, there we go. So, happiness is abound, and yeah, Jacob is kind of a boss now. He's up there with Aaron and skill level with the, the doggy dog. The dog is happy. All right, we'll make some favorable trades and get our our respect and our alliance uh, status up a little bit far, further. I don't want to equip a baseball bat right now. We built a bunch of stuff, killed a bunch of Zed. It is looking quite nice for us, in fact. I think soon, and very soon, we will be unstoppable. Or something close to that. Alright, we shall murder from a distance. We shall reclaim yet another place. Well, we have a nice little hamlet here. We definitely need to reclaim the park and turn it into a... Yeah. Into a food thing really, really shortly. That is a 100% must-happen scenario. All right, Bunker Towers is up next on the research plane. And once that is finito, finished, done, we'll, we'll be pretty happy, I would imagine. All right, long-distance murder. And apparently we can do it with all of our folks. They're all kind of situated for that exact situation. So, pretty cool stuff, pretty cool stuff. All right, so we'll kill the rags, we'll kill this place. Turn them both into farms, and then probably capture that and turn that into a farm. And we may even have to move a person or two to farming, because as it stands right now, we're not looking super hot. Additionally, I think perhaps scavenge, scavenging might be the play here uh, for food, actually. Maybe that's not such a bad idea. So that's what we're going to do, and the best... Trade with the Rifts. Malik warned me, or warned, warned me, walked me around their storerooms and pointed out a few things that we could have for a price. Hopefully my bartering skills are up to the task. See if they need anything. They are low on materials, aren't we all, brother? Aren't we all? Alright, we'll trade you some materials, man. It's cool. We'll trade you eight, because we are just that good. Alright, they do have an assault rifle, which is pretty impressive. They do have food, and we actually need food right now. So, that being said, we're going to go with... Nope, not that many. I'm going to go with that. We're going to try to haggle it down. Oh yeah, 10% discount. We're going to do it one more time. Oh, snippity snap. There it is, folks. And there. Probably could have gotten a little bit more out. Right now we're just going to do the even trade, simply because I need the food and I don't have a lot left to barter with. Once the food is on the rise again, then I'll start feeding them food for love. In all the right places. Alright, so next up... Dun, dun, dun. We need a farm. There aren't a lot of large places. Maybe I need to, to convert the All Mart into a big farm, and that's going to help us out quite a lot. Additionally, the Mega Mall could be another pretty good spot to to farm out. So, let's see. Does it do anything for us? No, it does not. So, in fact, how about instead of doing that, why don't we turn... 
Hmm. Oh, we need eight materials. Ah, eight materials to turn it into a large farm. All right. Well, then we'll turn this into a, a smaller farm. That's fine. And then next time we'll do the Mega Mall in to a farm, and then, then where will we be? We'll be walking on sunshine. That's where we'll be. I don't know about walking on sunshine, but we should be in a little bit of a better position. We found some food. We're doing some stuff. We found a guitar. We'd equip it with the guitar. Some leadership bonuses here. Plus two. All right, we're gonna have a guitar instead of a cowboy hat. Yeah, go guitar, go. All right, that's cool. Everybody's doing something. I can totally dig that. And get behind it. The Banshee. Whoa. Okay. You know the story of the Irish undead, the Banshee. They say when you hear its mournful cry, you've been marked for death. I sure hope that's not the case, because we've got a zombie screaming its lungs out. How does that work, anyway? Outside the walls of the fort. I don't think it's going to kill anyone if we don't let it in, but it's not doing good things for morale to hear that day in and day out. Oh, keeping people awake at night. Well, sleepy time at the good old Moses Lake uh, Town Institute for the Insane and Criminally Not Undead are going to probably be slightly difficult to get a good night's rest here. All right, let's see. Where's my leader? There you are. Cowboy hat it up, sir. And we have another one of our leaders that could also use a cowboy hat because they are cowboys, baby. That's what they do. Alright, our food supplies are holding, but not, not super well. Oh, look, we have explosives. We could use them now. What does that do? Instantly kill all the zombies on one building. Oh, neat. Alright, we're only losing four food per day, and with our scavengers out scavenging, I think we're actually doing okay. Our building materials are up to six. I'd like to get them a little bit higher than that, but that's okay. That's a decent start. We'll go there. What... What is going on out here? Oh, there's... Okay, that's where the Banshee's at. Alright, well... If that indeed is the case, then I think Peter can go out and try to do some murder here. There we go with his gal pal. And that's going to be another one of their dates. Good old Christina and Peter Bynes. Doing mad Banshee murder work. Because that's how we roll. Alright. So we killed... We, we did a lot of stuff that time. We killed some zombies, we reclaimed a bar, we found some food, we found materials and food, we killed more and more and more and more zombies. We did not manage to finish... Oh, that's unfortunate. We did not manage to finish off the Banshee yet. In fact, it looks like it's going to take us a little bit of time, but that's okay. We shall manage that just fine, I think. Alright, Lola Thompson wants to speak with us a bit more. Let's hear more of her story, more of her story. After I barricaded the entrance to my studio, I had to use my hammer and chisel to make a new exit. I'm surprised none of them caught me, given the racket I was making. I think most of the Zed are trying to get in, or I think most of the Zed that were trying to get in were the seniors who had already ha who were already half deaf. I can't read in the morning, apparently, guys, or at night or during the day. It's fine. I'm totally illiterate. It's whatever. They probably wouldn't have heard a car alarm if they were standing right next to it. Well, isn't that just something super cool? Handyman, yeah, oh, absolutely. Well, handy woman, I guess. It's fine. Totally, totally fine. All right, we'll go over here and murder the Zed there. And we don't have the eight yet, but I imagine soon we shall. We'll do that, we'll farm it up for right now. We cannot scavenge the food anymore, so let's go to the All Mart and finish that off. I see one of our leaders wants to speak with us. I'm okay with this. And well, I suppose we could scout a little bit there. All right, everyone's doing something, and Henry Wolfgang wants to talk to me. Yes, how can I help you, master? My speech? I'm terribly sorry. I just happen to have a bit of a lisp. Nothing to worry yourself over. What did I do before the end of the world? Spent a bit of time underground doing some surveillance work for a mining firm. Nothing special. Henry can get a new perk. What should it be? Well... Sure, fast recovery. In case you burn yourself with the chemical or you trip over, I don't know, the altar or something in the church. I mean, whatever. 
just in case you wound yourself, you will heal much more rapidly. And that is all we really need. Okay, survivor spotted, sweet. Zombie ammunition, zombie materials, materials, and that is it. It is time, finally, ladies and gentlemen, for Lola to come and build us a gigantic, hugeified farm that's going to feed us for weeks, ladies and gentlemen. It is going to literally feed us for weeks. And it is going to be so nice and so cool and so neat and so nifty. Alright, we're going to defend here because who knows what's actually going to happen. Alright, we're going to come over here and scavenge. And we're still scavenging out there. Everybody else is doing stuff. It's going to be two to three, maybe even four more turns before we're done. Ash steals. Like, hey, I want to talk to you. May I come from a long line of haberdashers. We specialized in the finest head accoutrements. For the discerning lady and gentleman, our store in the high street had been there for almost 100 years. Okay, it is a little more than a large hatless hole in the ground, but, well now anyway, but back when it was there, it had class. What perks should she get, or what should you get, Ash? You should get that, and you get research at burst and plus two engineering from books or some sort of crazy thing, whatever. Okay. I think that's good. I'm going to leave him th though it doesn't look like we're being attacked, so maybe I don't have to leave him there. Hmm, alright. Murder. Alright, we're going to go back into the murdering spree of whatever it is that we murder and spree on. The hole. We've got the schematic that says there's a lost and found in our bank, but the door's three feet of solid steel and bolted shut. Who needs that kind of protection from a lost and found? Got to be something cool in there. There are air ducts going to the room. We wouldn't fit, but we could send a kid through there like Angel Beal. He'd fit. Alright. I don't know if this happens every time, but I'm going to avoid this one because in one of my single player playthroughs, this exact thing came up. And what happens with the kid, or when I did it, I don't know if, like I said, it could be different every time. Could be random, I'm not sure. But the first kid that we send in crawls through and then we hear nothing. And then we send another kid in with a rope and the other kid comes back and says the first kid fell in, broke their neck, and is dead. So, not great. So we're going to forget about it. Forget about it. No, I won't put the lives of any of our survivors at risk. We don't need to know what's on the other side of that door. Alright. There we go. So that could have gotten messy, could have gotten sticky, could have been a little bit nasty, but in the end, thankfully it wasn't all that bad. Alright. We're going to go here. And we're going to go to the parking lot there. And I guess we'll chill over here at the school once this is converted into farmland. Our food supply will be looking pretty good. I think we're going to get like six food out of it because we're getting at least two per farm. 2.5 per farm. So, yeah, we'll get at least six. Probably closer to seven or 7.5. Maybe 38. I don't know. Another cowboy hat has been found. I don't think we need it. And materials, materials, materials. All right. Next day. Alright, we're still not in any danger, and boy oh boy are we getting lots of things done here. We got a lot of building materials. We did build a huge farm, and the food is on the rise, ladies and gentlemen, and that makes me pretty darn happy. We're getting plus two food per day. Let's see how much the large farm brings us in just a moment's time. We're going to claim the workshop for our very own, and we're going to scavenge out of the school, and we're going to clear out this, and we'll talk to our Taki people very, very soon. Not quite yet. I want to get some more folks out doing things before we actually talk to that. Once the Banshee's down, we're going to go do a favorable trade with the crazy, crazy bling ninjas. And then once that is done, I think our, our relationship with them will be pretty decent. Maybe not quite to the point where we can make an alliance, but pretty close. We'll do two more turns, and we'll do some talking right now, and then we'll see how things go. Clemens' story. There are times I miss the dojo. The time I was training to be one of the Rifts was some of the best of my life. It was tough, sure, but there's nothing quite like waking up to a bucket of cold water in the face the first thing in the morning. That is, if you weren't fast enough to dodge the thing. It's all part of the training, after all. Well, it does sound kind of terrifying and not great. Firearms training? Yeah! You may be a crazy martial artic ninja. That's right, martial artic. It's a word I just invented. Look it up. Probably doesn't exist, but if it did, I'm taking credit. All right. We can now add a bunker to any building inside our fort. These replace our old watchtowers with a more fortified structure 
That should help us better fend off zombie attacks. What? I like it. The Banshee. We found that goddamned howling zombie in the park. Put an end to it. It was in. Uh, it was in an odd condition. It seems somebody had attacked it with a sword at some point, and the poor thing was now walking around with a blade going right through its eye and passing through part of its brain. I suppose that might explain the constant wailing. It didn't even defend itself or try to attack us, just stood there screaming until we finally put it down. We cleared out the rest of the park while we were at it, and kept the sword. Alright, yeah, nobody is awake now. Alright, so happiness should be on the rise, it doesn't look like it is, but it should be on the rise. All right, we shall scavenge some food and goodies there. And we are going to go into research mode, and I guess basic traps is what is next up on the agenda. And we shall do that with our due diligence and, I don't know, Dewey Decimal System or something. It's fine. It's totally fine. All right, you come over here and... Oh, yeah, it looks like they are going to... Do some battleation, maybe? Oh, there we are. Well, that one doesn't seem to work. Okay, where are you, Christina? We need you to come down here and help defend. What are we up against here? We are up against 19 from surrounding nasties. Well, I suppose we're going to head over here. We're going to meet with our leader once again. Our Masaru jo Jones uh, replacement here, Joshua Beal, is like, What's up? Me, back in the day, I used to make little review shows for the internet and riffing on pop culture stuff, you know. I couldn't count the number of times I did a zombie movie or a game and railed on it for how cheesy it was. Now look where we all are. Alright, you are a hoarder, good sir. You will bring me back extra goodies and I will like it and you will... Well, be doing your job quite efficiently, I would say. Alright, well, we found all sorts of crazy stuff there. We'll make a trade in the next one, but for now, we need to bring out probably one of these dudes to help out with the defense. In fact, maybe both of them, just to make sure that there's no possibility that we will die a horrible, awful death. Building materials will come up and help us defend our lives. And I think we're okay. Alright, so I'm going to end the turn here, guys. That's going to break out the episode, and it's going to officially end focus fridays so hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did feel free to like comment subscribe and share it and we'll see what malik has to say before we head off all right talk with him uh anything he needs uh he told me that they have a bit of a zombie problem in a police station beside one of their walls if we could solve it for them the riffs would be the most grateful but i'm not sure they care how we do it so long as the zed are killed Zed's dead baby. What? What does that even mean? Alright. Fine, we're on it. Okay, so I guess uh, they said by a, a bank on their border or something? Do they have a bank on their border that we know about? Is there going to be a mission? There's the only bank that I can see. So that must be that one right there. All right, guys, as I said, that's going to do it. I will catch you guys next week with more Rebuild 3 Gangs of Deadsville. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.